and if you don't know... Now, let's talk about the comedy uh, in the movie, Dominic. You, uh, you have a gift for physical comedy. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, wow. The scene in the museum when the Terracons first attack. It was a thriller with comedy elements. Now, was that easy to achieve for you? How did you want to play that? Um, well, one, I have to shout out Steven because he's always thinking of like new ways to bring culture into it. And I've always loved, I love, I, Literally, I love Lucy, Lucille Ball. I used to watch her when I was 10 years old and Jim Carrey and say, dang, I want to do comedy. And so any chance that I get, even when I'm doing dramas or something that's not that genre, I always try to sprinkle a little bit in there. So thank you so much. Wow, I appreciate that. For the three of you, it's, it's a movie dominated by the Transformers and you have to establish your humanity because you bring the human factor. Did you see that challenge for yourself and go, how do I bring that flavor? How do I bring that humanity into your role? I mean, we're human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I mean, <laughs> I just said, uh, just be a human be being, you know? I, mean, I was just, yeah, but it's like, you know, the reality of it is that there's scenes with robots that ain't there. Nobody, I ain't even seen nothing. I'm not even seeing anything right now. <laughs> and then there's scenes with humans. So it's like, naturally, when you get in a scene with another person, it's like, oh, this is what it feels like to talk to Another human. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's just that kind of naturally, you, the, 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 the things kind of naturally happen in you where you're like, oh yeah, no, 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 wait, I'm talking to a person right now. Yeah. What, what, do you, what are you doing? That yeah. you know? More specifically, I think uh, with your character, Noah, you see him at the start of the movie in financial trouble. Mm -hmm. This is person who's an underdog. You don't see many big budget action movies like that of people who are in real, you know, trouble. How did you feel about that element being added into the story? Mm. It felt like real life. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. when I went through that in real life, you know, so... Uh, you, you know, know, he was poor. <laughs> yes. But poor. the fact yeah. that, like, I feel like Steven... <laughs> Um, I think Steven, is, he's so specific about things that yeah. he really wanted to bring heart and story yeah. to, the, to the film. And so you get things like that from obviously like uh, Anthony's own experience, but Steven's yeah. uh, mind in saying, how do you really connect? Like, what is this character going through? And then you bring that together and you have this character struggling in a way that we don't see in big block blockbusters. I'm just happy that we got to see that, you know, that we get to see that kind of story told, yeah. especially in a movie like this. We really want to talk about the human element, right? Yeah, like yeah. there's so many human beings, no matter where you're from, who can relate to a situation like that. Yeah. How am I going to, how am I, how are we going to eat? How are we going to pay that bill? How yeah. are we, mm -hmm. right? And, and I think automatically, health insurance, right? Pe that. People, oh. that's, that's that human connection. People can relate. Oh man, I relate to that guy. I relate to yeah. those characters, you know? Mm -hmm.